Welcome to Utica TV Overtime. I'm James Brown. And I'm Corinne Bush. Before we get started, we would like to thank Spectrum for their fast internet service and helping make uh, Utica TV Overtime possible. To sign up for Spectrum internet or mobile service, please call 1-800-831-1547 or use the QR code shown. Tell them Utica TV sent you. Now let's get into the action. Men's soccer face crosstown rival Hamilton College Wednesday, September 27th. Hamilton opened up the scoring 15 minutes in off of a scuffle in the box. Two more goals followed in a tough half for the Pioneers. The Pioneers were able to bounce back, however, in the second half, producing more possessions and more shots as a team. Although their efforts were not enough, the Pioneers were still held to zero goals in the second half. Hamilton would add one extra in the second half despite three saves from senior Eddie Paez, who took over for senior Fody Zetas. This loss pushes the Pioneers to 2-4-2 two, two on the season. On Saturday, September 27th, the women's field hockey team took on the Oswego State Lakers. Neither team could get, off, get any offense going as both teams failed to record a shot for the first minutes. The Pioneers gained momentum in the second quarter with three looks between the 20th and 21st minutes. Alana Fragapan recorded her second goal of the season late in the second quarter. Alyssa Pisano also added to the scoring by recording her seventh goal of the season. Shannon Jedrajic assisted on Pisano's goal and recorded three shots on the night. Madison Rinaldi contributed to her national lead with a pair of defensive saves. Desiree Bowman allowed one goal and made four saves in nearly 67 minutes of play. Bowman was also honored as the Empire 8 Field Hockey Defensive Player of the Week. Congratulations! Utica and Oswego would go on to trade a pair of shots in the fourth quarter, but neither team were able to convert. In overtime, Jadrejic found Pisano in the middle of the field for a shot from three yards out that she converted into the back of the cage for the game winner. The Pioneers outshot the Lakers 14-8 and 10-7. This marks the Pioneers' first home win of the season. Their record is now 2-7. The women's field hockey team will be away facing St. John Fisher on October 7th at 1 p.m. Last Wednesday, the women's volleyball team faced SUNY Delhi in a thrilling match. In the first round, the Broncos started off with a 5-2 lead, but shortly Utica took over and gained an 8-7 advantage. In the end of the first, the Pioneers came and crushed the Broncos with a score of 26-24. In the second round, Utica came in with even more force. It started off shaky as the Broncos held an 11-6 lead, but Utica managed to tie it at 12-12. Caitlin Esposito and Abriana Wadley came in with a good block at the end, which gained them a two-set advantage. The second set ended with a Utica 25-19 win. Eleanor Seapill played an impressive offensive game with 16 kills throughout the game. In the third, the Pioneers went for the clean sweep, and that they did. While each round was very close, the Pioneers managed to win the third round by a score of 25-20, giving Utica the overall win. Wednesday, September 27th at the Nexus Center in Utica, men's and women's hockey teams participated in a preseason skills competition. The event was a part of the slew of activities for new to President Todd Fanestiel and a way to introduce the new squads. Teams were split into a white and a blue team with an even distribution of men and women's players. There were a few hundred people in attendance. Those in attendance witnessed the white team top the blue team 16-14. The men's hockey team will open its season and home schedule against the United States National Development Program's U18 squad October 20th. The men's team will play 15 home games at the Adirondack Bank Center while also playing an additional two games in the Nexus Center against Manhattanville and, Manhattanville and Lebanon Valley. <clears throat> the women's team will open their home schedule with SUNY Canton as an exhibition game Friday, October 20th at 7 p.m. in the Nexus Center. Last Thursday, the men's and women's golf team faced off in their tournament against Nazareth College at the Yanandasis Golf Club. For the men, Nate McDonald put the men in the lead with a score of 82, then Adam Woodmansey with a score of 84, Phoenix Wadig with a score of 85, Joey Bagnato shot an 88, and Jack Kendall rounded the scoring with a 90. The men placed in second with a score of 339. For the woman, Carly Stefanini went off with a score of 87, which put her second overall. Then Riley Moore scored a 94, while Paige Graves scored 98. 
and Angela scored a 113. This gave the Pioneers a total score of 392, placing them number one. Congratulations. The Utica <laughs> women's soccer team honored their seniors on Saturday, September 30th, in a game against Houghton University. Utica tallied three goals from Rory Richard, Riley Lamphere, and Noella Burlatt. Courtney Connolly had six saves in her 80 minutes of play before Sierra Doolin came in between the sticks to record, record, record a pair of saves in 10 minutes of action. Both came out with a clean sheet in a 3-0 win. The Pioneers dominated playing out shooting Highlanders 7-1 and 4-0 on Frank. The Pioneers are now 1-0-2 in Empire 8 Conference play. The men's soccer team faced off against the undefeated Nazareth Golden Flyers on Saturday, September 30th. In the first half of play, Utica outshot Nazareth 7-5 and both teams shared equal possession of the ball. Late in the first half, Nazareth earned a penalty kick, but Utica's goalkeeper, Eduardo Paez, made a crucial save, keeping the score 1-0. In the second half, Nazareth was able to create momentum and outshoot the Pioneers 8-6. Despite that, the Pioneers' Bionic Magushu was able to capitalize on the chance in the 68th minute, giving Utica the lead. The Pioneers were able to keep the lead for the rest of the game, giving the Golden Flyers their first loss of the year. The Utica University football team put on a dominating display this homecoming weekend in front of a packed crowd in Charles Gatano Stadium Saturday afternoon against Hartwick College in Empire 8 play. The Pioneers pushed for 218 yards and four scores in the run game. Junior James Salas led the charge with 105 yards on 13 carries and a pair of touchdowns. The defensive line only allowed 61 yards from the struggling Hartwick Hawks. Quarterback one Brett Fuller led the air game with 137 yards on 18 of 19 completions. Utica only punted once while forcing the Hawks to punt on six different occasions through four quarters. Kicker Corey Lichtman went a perfect 6 for 6 on PA PATs and 2 over 2 on field goals. Doug Simmons led the way on the defensive side of the ball with a team high 7 tackles, 1 pick and a forced fumble. The Pioneers are back in action this Saturday, October 7th in Cortland to take on the number 16 Cortland Red Dragons in critical conference play. The game could very well decide the fate of this conference title. Tonight, the women's volleyball team goes head-to-head -head against Houghton University. Coming off of a loss in a match against Hartwick, the Pioneers are looking to defeat the Highlanders in a competitive match. As for right now, the Utica volleyball team sits fourth in the conference and is ranked at the top half of the conference in points, opponent hitting percentage kills, blocks, service aces, and digs. This match begins at 7 p.m. in the Clark Athletic Center. On Saturday, October 7th, the Utica Pioneers women's tennis team will face off against the Russell Sage College Gators for an Empire 8 matchup. This contest will be hosted at the Utica University Tennis Courts at 12 p.m. This marks the eighth contest of the season for the Pioneers and the second contest against the Gators this season. The first face-off against these two teams resulted in a 5-4 win for the Pioneers the Pioneers are coming off of a dominant win over Houghton University, 6-3. The Pioneers are currently sitting at a record of 2-5 overall and have a conference record of 1-3. Come support the Pioneers on October 7th at the Utica University Tennis Courts while they take on Russell Sage Gators for a great Empire 8 ma matchup. Following that home matchup against Sage, Utica Women's Tennis will host an out-of-conference foe SUNY Oneonta on Wednesday, October 11th. This match will mark the final regular season outing for the Pioneers, who currently sit at a record of 2-5 on the season. Utica is 0-4 all-time against Oneonta, and they will look to get that elusive first victory over the Red Dragons to close out their season. The match begins at 3.30 p.m. at the university's tennis courts. And that's all the Utica sports we have for you this week. Be sure to follow us on social media at Utica UTV on Instagram to see when Utica TV will be broadcasting your Utica athletics. Thank you all so much for watching, and always remember to Fear the, the Moose. moose.